Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to react to Apple's new iPad ad with Picasso Hydraulic Press. Was it realistic at all or is it all fake? And why you should believe us when it comes to realism and Hydraulic Press? Well, we have crushed eight years of stuff here on Hydraulic Press channel and we are absolute market leaders on Hydraulic Presses. If Apple is the market leader on smartphones, we are the same thing for the presses and we know the crushing stuff. And I see a lot of wrong on the ad, so this video is going to have three parts. First, we are going to go through the press itself. Would it even work like that? Then we are going to replicate the crushings on the video. We have a lot of stuff. And then last thing, we are going to go through the physics, would it even be possible to crush all that in once, even that big press. Yeah, but let's go first have a look at big ass press that they have. And here is my opinion about the hydraulic press. I think it's quite unrealistic. And I go through how the hydraulic press actually work and we can see the problems easiest on that way. So here is the same setup that they had. Two pistons, giant plate, item being crushed, and floor. And it's quite a wide room without any supports near the press. And hydraulic press, the name comes from hydraulics, it's this here. And everything starts from the motor that spins the pump, that pumps the oil from the tank through the hose into the cylinders. And here the oil pushes down on the pistons and the pistons do the crushing. And how strong would the hydraulic press on the video be? I estimated that the piston diameter would be about one meter. And typically big presses like this, they have this construction of the piston that only pushes down. And then there is something else to lift the thing up. And if it has this construction and typical 250 bar pressure rating for big machines like that, it would be four thousand ton hydraulic press. So really strong, over 10 times stronger than we have here. But also the plate that they are using, is a, it's a huge plate and that's going to result in some problems and I go through those problems on the end of the video. But now when we know how the press works, what are the obvious problems? And the main problem is the fact that this is going to generate a huge force against the item been crushed. And that force has to be also here, but pointing up. And 4,000 tons, it's like shitload of elephants and swimming pools and two-story buildings and all kinds of stuff. It's a lot of force. So the roof, if it's that wide that it's on the video, it should be like probably 10 meters thick, solid steel plate. And nobody's going to build something like that. If you look pictures of real, really strong presses, they all have huge frames just next to the item being crushed, like solid steel here. And now all this force can go through these. And this is really necessary if you wanna generate that much force without destroying the whole building. And the video doesn't have that. And I think it's a good reason that they didn't go with the super realistic thing, because it's hard to see inside of the machines when the like frame is size of a building. So it's quite unrealistic, but I think people don't usually know this stuff. So it looks really good and it would be probably also really, really boring video to use like real press because that sized machine is going to be really slow and you can't crush all that in once. And also the crushing is going to be surprisingly boring for most of the items they used on the ad. So let's go check out our press and how things get crushed in real life. And first thing that we are going to test is paper because everybody loves paper. And we have a lot of books and there on top of the pile we have some post-it notes. And on the ad, just the post-it notes explode on top of the book. And I think it's not how this is going to work. So let's go out outside of this bunker, close the bulletproof door. And then we are going to crush it and see what really happens. Because I think it's, it's a quite a different story here. 
And we have now 300 tons, but we are just crushing the books. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's a quite different. <laughs> I have to say that I'm surprised. That was actually better than on the ad, like way better. You shouldn't fake things. The real stuff is much, much better usually. Let's go have a look, what the hell? That was a surprise. That was so cool. Yeah, so the post-it notes, you definitely can't crush. Crush them on top of the top of the books. They will sink into the books, and then the whole pile is going to start to go. Uh, this is also wrong on like the whole ad in general. Like it doesn't start to explode from top. It's like the weakest link is going to explode. This was much much better than on the ad. No need faking anything. Yeah, and then the next one. And this is also unrealistic about the ad. Everything looks so clean after the crush. But this is like the real, real, real life things. It just doesn't disappear, it just spreads around. Okay, then the next one, camera lens. And I think this is going to match pretty well the ad. And I think that looked quite close. I'm not sure, you can say, be the judge on this, but especially the high speed and slow motion shots, I think those are quite nice. I think the most of unrealistic stuff was like the fact that everything was just a bit too explode. It's much easier to add like small special effects explosion rather than actually crush it like it's going to explode. But the clay figure that you saw, that was realistic. We have done these a lot. And sometimes we have uh, added some special effects to these. We hardly never use like explosives on the press channel. I usually put CO2 cartridges there. And yeah, guitars don't definitely explode. That was the like first offender. TV might explode, but the guitar never does. And now we are going to talk about the huge plate and how that affects on like the end results. On crushing stuff with hydraulic press, it's, it's not the force that destroys items, it's the pressure. And you get the pressure when you divide the force by area. Area of the like tool that does the crushing. If you like think, like if you assume that the like the whole tool is touching the thing that's been crushed. If you have a huge tool and a small thing on the middle of the tool, then the tool size doesn't matter. But on the ad, the, it's like completely full on the end of the end of the crush. And if you divide the 4,000 tons with that area, the result is six bars. So about the same pressure as on like truck tires or like your tap water lines. So it's not a huge pressure. And if we apply same amount of pressure on this size, it's about one ton. So now let's see like how much is like six bars. And this is not size of the not size of the tool, so this is going to be like 20 bars. I think this can still take it. And it starts to spread and fill up the tool if doesn't if if if, if it can't take. So I stop it when we hit one ton. Okay, that was only like four. But as you can see, it's like slightly crushed, but it's definitely not going to explode like on the video. I think, should we try something else also? I'm going to throw also something else, something bit bigger that fills it completely. And let's see how, what is six bars against like hard items. Yeah, these are quite soft, like reasonable soft. You should be able to crush these quite easily. And they are definitely softer than like mostly crushed piano and computers and like gaming consoles. 
So definitely softer stuff than there was on end of the ad. So let's see. Yeah, that's one ton. Six bars. So this is the, this is how good the giant press on the video would be if you, if you load it completely full. full. So not, not very good. And uh, yeah, these are like, nothing happens to them. So with the hydraulic press, the big tool isn't your friend. You wanna use the smallest possible tool to crush smallest amount possible. Okay, so the ad wasn't realistic and I think it doesn't really matter. I think it was still like visually really pleasing and even when some people like misunderstand the whole thing and thought that it's some like AI is going to destroy all artists or something. I think the idea was pretty neat because I think it was about to like telling the story that iPad has like a bit of all this stuff crammed into it and it was like super thin or something. I don't know. I don't really use iPads that much. But I think the ad was good looking. It was about one minute long. And nowadays it's really hard to get people to watch anything a bit longer. And uh, crushing stuff with hydraulic press, it, it, it captures some eyeballs. We did last year's 7 billion views with mostly short form videos. So like one minute long ad, if you can use press, probably good idea because people watch this stuff. And if you wanna do ad with hydraulic press, call us, then it's realistic and fun. We, we are really good at this. And if you wanna do your own videos with your own press, there is sales email down in description. You can buy hydraulic press from us. We have great stock of regular workshop presses, like 100 tons, we can send it right away. And if you want a special YouTube machine, we can also build that with ProfiPress team. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.